Welcome again, guys. Our video today is about marine boilers. A marine boiler is a closed vessel in which water or other fluids are heated under pressure. The hot fluid is then circulated out of the boiler for use in various process or heating applications. Normally, the construction of marine boilers is mainly limited to copper, steel, and cast iron as well. A boiler is an essential equipment on board a ship whose main purpose is to provide heating to the main diesel propulsion engine and the bunker fuel oil tanks in order to make the fuel oil less viscous for transferring as well as easier ignition. The steam generated by the boiler can also be used for the cleaning and heating of the seawater in the fresh water generator by evaporating the seawater and converting it into potable water. There are many different sources of heat for the boiler. Among them, we can mention the combustion of fuels such as wood, coal, oil, or natural gas. Moreover, in power generating steam turbines, the heat recovery steam generator, that is a kind of heat exchanger, recovers the heat from the exhaust gases of the gas turbine. This heat is recovered in the form of steam and then is served as the power source of the steam turbine. There are two basic marine boilers, the water tube boiler and the fire tube boiler. The first one, the water tube boiler, is a type of boiler in which water circulates in tubes which are heated externally by the fire. In other words, the heat source is outside the tube and the water to be heated inside them. The water tube boiler is mainly used for high pressure as well as high temperature and high capacity applications such as the supply of steam for the main propulsion turbines and the cargo pump turbines as well. So how does a water tube boiler work? The fuel is burned inside the furnace creating hot gases which heat up water in the steam generated tube. The heated water then rises into the steam drum, where saturated steam is drawn off the top of the drum. In some services, the steam will re-enter the furnace in through a superheater in order to become superheated. Superheated steam is used in driving turbines. Since water droplets can severely damage turbine blades, steam is superheated to 730 degrees Fahrenheit, approximately 390 degrees Celsius or higher, in order to ensure that there is no water entrained in the steam. Cold water at the bottom of the steam drum returns to the feed water drum via down comer tube where it helps preheat the feed water supply. Furthermore, to increase the economy of the boiler, the exhaust gases are also used to preheat the air blown into the furnace and warm the feed water supply. Finally, the fire tube boiler is a type of boiler in which the water surrounds the heat source and the gases from combustion pass through tube through the water space. That is to say, the heat source is inside the tube and the water to be heated surrounds them. This boiler used to be the most common boiler on board ships since they only require an open fit system and they were convenient for the supply a great amount of steam. Nowadays, the fire two boilers 
are rarely the primary steam generator on a ship. Hence, they are used on ships powered by diesel engines as auxiliary boilers for purposes such as supplying steam for the turbine of the feed pumps as well as the turbo generator for generating electricity. Moreover, for cooking service and cabin heating, heating of the fuel oil, laundry and distillation of water as well. Well, that's all folks today. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next video.